Okay, so according to the uh, APA guidelines right there, it says in chapter 8.09 in under human care and use of animals and research, A, psychologists acquire care for use and dispose of animals in compliance with current federal, state, and local laws and regulations and with professional standards, which I did not have to dispose of. I took great care of Jesse. She's still alive, and I've acquired her over uh, five years ago, and we, she's still been pretty good, and she's still alive, so that's always nice. <laughs> um, section B, psychologist trained in research methods and experienced in the care of laboratory animals supervise all procedures involving animals and are responsible for ensuring appropriate consideration of their comfort, health, and humane treatment, which I've also done. I've been treating and having Jessie for the past five years, as I previously stated, and she's still alive, she's very healthy. We take her to the vets all the time, and we always get good reports back. And if you really want to, I can supply you my vet's number and whatnot. If you, It's absolutely necessary to uh, find out how well she's doing. Section C, psychologists ensure that all individuals under their supervision who are using animals have received instruction in research methods and in the care, maintenance, and handling of the species being used to the extent appropriate to their role. I luckily did not have anyone taking care of uh, my subject so uh, because I personally was held responsible for her, so I don't really need that one. It's not very necessary. And D, psychologists make reasonable efforts to minimize the discomfort, infection, illness, and pain of animal subjects. Luckily, there were no um, procedures of any type of the, in this experiment that required any type of discomfort or illness, infection. So, uh, and those would be my APA guidelines that I used to follow in this experiment. So, thank you.